Hello everybody and welcome to another video of mine and today I am showcasing the official, my official, uh, submission for the Mr. N Jersey Steamboat Transport Challenge. As you can see here, it's a relatively small ship. Doesn't move fast, but that's just steam power for you. And today we'll just be showing you what I've got so far. Alrighty, so first off we're going to start off with the helm. That's just because this is where we are. What we've got here is got we've got the Mr. and Jersey uh, navigation system here. Where you can put in a waypoint. And tell it where to go. Just as simple as that. It's got a few di dials here. I also have a compass ball just to have that there. Then over here we've got we've got uh, our engine readers here up here as well for uh, engine one and engine two. Then at the actual helm itself we have the Mister and Jersey clock or radio system, and we've got his information panel which I have set to speed, coal fuel, wind speed, and coal hold. And then we've got the his lights at the same time and there's all of that a couple of additions of myself i've got a few deck lights that is connected to the system i just to make things easy now to go into the open deck here we've got a few winches here in case you want to tow something and we got the deck lights as i said and we got a couple of doors here to load up the coal uh, for the fuel. It's just as simple as that. A couple of chimneys there. And then over here we've got a couple of big doors and these are for the uh, hold itself. Uh, along with that we've got a couple of conveyor belts which actually do swing out, lift up and down, and we can pull out the coal from the hold onto like a harbor or truck or something like that. Simple as that. And now into the uh, main uh, little uh, passenger equipment area. We've got a bunch of equipment here. Oxygen masks, first aid, fire extinguishers, flares just in case, all this stuff. And we also have some thermal equipment, diving equipment, and hazard equipment go below deck here we can find ourselves at a little living area equipped with a table little kitchenette and a door that is compatible with Stranger Jersey uh, food system so you can press the seat button to eat and it will fill up your food bar uh, over here just a little kitchenette you can turn on and off like that over here we got a little bunk area a couple of your crew can sleep in this and just a bathroom here because I can't really. Uh, oh, and also we've got a little TV here. Yeah. Now to go down one more deck, we've got a couple of more like passenger seats down here, fire equipment, and scuba gear. So you can go in here and do what you need in here. Now. The engine room is quite complex. Let me show you the startup procedure for the engine so that you kind of understand what's going on. So here we are back at the North Harbor where we have our coal gantry here, which is requirement for the challenge itself. Now the challenge itself says that the boat has to be able to load from the gantry itself. Now I've tested this. As long as the doors are open, you can load the coal in. Let's jump over here. Find our way down to the below deck. Below the below deck. <laughs> and we find ourselves back in the engine room. Now I have a light switch here instead of a player sensor because when the fireboxes are on, you don't really need the lights on. Now, down here we've got a couple of switches which all need to be on in order for this to run efficiently. Now here we've got our condenser temperature, water hold, 
turbine RPS and the boiler pressure. These will be very important here soon. Both engines need to be on, on to be able to move forward. Next you have to open up the steam valves. Steam valves will let the steam into the turbines itself and rotate them. Up next we have the same instrument panels showing us what's up at the deck or the helm. But we have one extra thing, we have the ignition switch. You turn this on, it'll start the firebox, open the air valves, and let this boiler start warming up. Do this for both sides and you can get the engines running fairly simply. Now of course with steam, you gotta wait for the things to actually warm up and the boiler pressures to start rising. Once that happens, you'll hear the turbines go and that means you are ready to drive. So let's wait for that to warm up. So after you get the boiler pressures up and they have stabilized and started going down, that means your engines are ready. From there, you hop up to the helm. So W is to drive forward, A and D to turn left and right. And it's just as simple as that. I've been really enjoying myself during this challenge and I honestly hope you guys have enjoyed me explaining this ship and I hope you guys actually enjoy the ship itself. Now, what you're seeing here is not the final product of this ship. It's just very close to the final product, and I decided to make this video and start editing it, and then, like, you'll see this video, but you'll see the actual finished product on the Steam Workshop. Link's in the description on YouTube. And then, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.